Well, so something that we had talked about earlier that we want to talk to you about was um, obviously the Apocalypse Now was one of the greatest movies of all time. And you've done, you, I mean, you've just done so many awesome movies that we could be here all festival. But um, but what we really wanted to talk about was you decided to bring a super iconic book to life and bring it home to Oklahoma. So can you tell us about the process by which you brought Francis to know S.E. Hinton's book and and produce The Godfather? I'm sorry, to produce The Outsiders. The Outsiders. Yeah, yeah. We got. We were doing a movie called One from the Heart. We were shooting it in Hollywood. And Francis got a book from uh, sent to them from uh, by an eighth grade class from a school in Ohio, and said, "Dear Mr. Coppola, and it was signed by all the students. We think you should make this book into a movie." And so he says, "They might know this book." And so he gave it to us to read. Fred Roos, my partner, and I, we read it. And and Fred said, hey, great, it's your, your homeboys. You know, it's all Oklahoma. Yeah. I said, I know. So we went to Francis. He said, well, what do you think? I said, yes, it's, 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 it's a good book. And we could do it. One from the heart was out of control. It was big, costing a fortune. I said, we could shoot this in Oklahoma. Yeah. A lot less money than we're spending on One from the Heart. And uh, I said, it's written by an Oklahoma person. It's set in Oklahoma. I'm from Oklahoma. Let's make it in Oklahoma. So that's how we ended up here. Yeah. And he fell in love with Oklahoma. And he liked it so much that he got the rights to Susie Hinton's next book, uh, another book called Rumblefish. And at the end of when we were fil filming, we were doing pickup shots for outsiders. We do in the morning. We do some outsider shots. In the afternoon, we'd be rumble fish. And uh, the actors, Matt Jones, said, "Which movie am I doing right now?" I don't know. It was, <laughs> yeah. it was crazy. It was we were doing two movies at the same time. Yeah. How did it feel to come home and, and I mean record and you know, shoot a movie like that in Tulsa? It was great, except Tulsa wasn't my home. My home was Oklahoma sure. City. But it was it was great to be back in Oklahoma, and uh, unfortunately, my mom had already died, and uh, my dad had moved to Palm Springs, so I was in Oklahoma, but I didn't I I, I wasn't able to share the experience with my family. Yeah. But it was still great to be back in Oklahoma, and. Uh, um, when what, how did the cast us? So those guys were teenagers, right? Were so the cast is now the biggest stars on earth. Yeah, all seemingly got their start with you. With us, yeah. Well, Fred Fred Roos was a casting guy, uh -huh. and uh, I mean, he found all the people of the uh, Godfather. He's very thorough. And he, 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 they, they, I hear he's terrible to audition for <laughs> because when you go and sit down and the actors come in with their thing and here's my book and here's this and you know usually some people say well tell me about yourself well, what, what'd you, how'd you get your start when you sit down with Fred he just sits there and goes <laughs> Sorry. and the actor's like <laughs> <laughs> as a kid too because they were kids yeah they were kids well yeah that's how that's his that was his his mo yeah and uh, that's interesting <laughs> yeah. well because a lot of them i weren't there there were a couple leaf garrett was a star at the time right so there were a couple he or not a star, he was a musician he was a musician. there were a couple that had been i'd heard of but um i feel like the rest of them tom cruise had only been in taps he had been in taps uh matt dillon had done what had he done he'd done a lot of pictures one of the bad news bears or something like that pretty darling little darlings little darlings yeah uh, Dude, I love that movie, Tatum uh, O'Neill. The, the uh, Diane Lane had done that uh, thing with uh, Europe with the kids running away. What was that called? Uh, Not Red, but. Um, oh, uh, she was. Uh, they were. They were in, in Venice. Remember, she and this little boy take off and. I can't run. remember hers, Diane Lane's. But yeah, but they were all pretty fresh. You no, know, they were all. No, no one knew who they were. We had a soccer game one day. With the local girls school they got bad because they brought in ringers because we had all they brought in all the stunt guys to help them and stunt guys were you know they were yeah. good but i remember sitting there and there was this one lady said who's that guy he's pretty good who's that guy and someone sitting next to me was tough oh he's nobody his name is tom cruise <laughs> <laughs> 
she said, is he one of their stars? Yeah, he's in it, but he's no, no one else. He's top. But so he played, he played, so, um, t- who else? so Tom Cruise, you know, when you, Rob Lowe just came out with yeah. the book, right? Mm-hmm. And Rob Lowe's book, he says that at the time. Yeah, yeah, Rob was soda pop. And he said that at the time, every, all the other kids and him were playing, and Tom Cruise was super focused and, like, wasn't, no you wacky know, hijinks there. Yeah, the, I, I, the hotel we shared, I was on the same floor with all the, the kids. <laughs> And we By come choice? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By law. <laughs> By, yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I want, the girls were on the floor, lined up along the hall, waiting to get in. They were knocking on doors. And the guys opened, all right, you, come on in. <laughs> they were shooting fire extinguishers through keyholes yeah. in the doors. It was a rowdy. I finally moved out because <laughs> I, I couldn't sleep because they were up partying all yeah. night long. And they were wild parties. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Roadhouse. Swayze. Oh, Patrick Swayze. Oh, Patrick. And, uh, he was the oldest brother of the family, yeah. right? Yeah. God, he was awesome. And the only person that you never saw was Tom Cruise. He was always off by himself. He's either working out or he's reading or he's studying. He never hung out with them. He never did anything. And we all said, he's, that, that kid's <laughs> going to be, he's yeah. going to make it. Well, because that because his acting in it, everyone is great in it. Ralph yeah. Macchio, C. Thomas Howe, They're you know, every, every single person yeah. in it gives an iconic performance, and so he doesn't really stand out. But everyone now talks about how he was very different. Totally, totally not part of the pack. Yeah, it's amazing, and it to see like you know, I, I rewatched it last night, and it's like he doesn't have that the role. He doesn't have a giant role. He doesn't. He comes in every now and then, doesn't he? But you're like, oh, that's oh, that's Tom Cruise. There's, there's a baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This podcast was presented by the Oklahoma Hall of Fame, who've been telling Oklahoma story through its people since 1927. Follow them online at OklahomaHOF.com and definitely on Instagram at OklahomaHOF. Catch you next episode. Cheers.